Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to Chaos and Order Art by Susan Holt. That's me! Uh, today is Wednesday, December 6th, 2023. Welcome to Zen Stay Wednesday Live. Uh, I hope you're having a great day today. I spent most of the day in my studio, so that means I've had a great day. <laughs> uh, before I get started, I would like to do a little bit of housekeeping. Oh, I see Patty Joe is here. Hi, Patty Joe. So housekeeping, uh, if you're watching me live, thank you so much for watching live. If you are watching in replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay in the comments for me so I know you stopped by. I see April and Margaret are also here. Hello, hello, welcome. Uh, of course, uh, Patty Jo says hi, so I can see the comments. I know you can see the comments. Thank you for that comment, Patty Jo. Speaking of comments, if you have comments or questions or you want to hit the thumbs up button or that little heart button down in the corner, go ahead and do that for me. I love all of the feedback that uh, lets me know when you like something or love something. Oh, I see Diane is here. Hey, hey, hello, hello. So if you do have comments or questions while I'm painting, and I will be painting for you tonight, yeah, start of a new monthly painting, um, I am the camera is pointed away from me and I can't see your comments or questions. I will go back later and rewatch this and reply to your comments and your questions so you do get all the correct information. Um, my hubby and my bestie who are usually on with me tonight have other plans this evening, not with each other. Um, so uh, they will not be here to answer your questions. So I will have to get those answers to you later or hopefully if you have any while I am face to face with you here on the camera uh, not painting live then um, I'll answer them right away. Okay let's get the show on the road as my dad would say. Uh, tonight I am going to show you some art that I'm super excited about. I've got new stuff coming up <laughs> and then uh, we're going to do the pouring of the background of the monthly painting. So I will be painting live for you. Uh, I love to paint live for you. So uh, I'm so glad that you like when I do that. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get started. I'm going to show you brand new art. And I know you've seen one of these. Um, in a photo that I've posted lately. So I'll show you the ones that I just finished yesterday. These are little pieces on paper, but the, the paint in the middle, um, those of you who have been here for a while, you know I'm big into the reduce, reuse, recycle, waste not, want not kind of a thing. So the paint in the center here is actually, um, paint that has come off the back of my paintings, my larger paintings, and instead of putting it in the landfill or down the drain to get back into the water supply because acrylic paint is basically liquid plastic, I don't want to do that, I use as much of it as I can. So I use it in my jewelry and I use it in um, these little paintings and I use it for some other stuff too that I will show at some point, but right now these are the ones I'm focusing on. This little painting is four by six inches. It is on watercolor paper, so it will need to be um, matted and framed. So if you have a good local frame shop, I would absolutely encourage you to get one of these and take them to your local frame shop. Oh, this one is my favorite so far. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. There we go. And these don't have any titles. I haven't even numbered them. So um, if you see them come up and you would absolutely love one, go ahead and let me know. Just comment on the photo of it. That way I know which one you're talking about. And oh, I just love that one. So pretty. And then the, the last one here is the butterfly one that I've done so far. This one is five by seven. And it's also going to need to be matted and framed. <clears throat> there we go. Put a little shine on it. So cute. So I am having so much fun using my um, already dried paint drippings that I have. 
And I'm really going to focus this year on trying to use as much of the uh, inventory of supplies as I have in my studio. And for those of you who have been to the house, you know my studio is, is pretty big. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to buy as little as I can, but produce the absolute best art I can because I do have a lot of supplies here. So I might as well use them, right? Next thing I want to show you tonight is I have been, um, I had an idea the other night of doing the bubble paintings, but on pendants, and I have a couple of them mocked up, and I'm, you know that I do um, the paint layer on the pendant, and then I do a resin layer, and then I do another paint layer, and another resin layer, and I kind of build it up that way. So this is the first paint layer, the first resin layer, and then the second paint layer. And I've got at least another one paint layer and possibly two resin layers to go. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this. Sorry, it's a little fuzzy. The camera is not focusing on it. But this is kind of the background of the bubbles on this one. And I put a little koi fish in the bubble for this piece. And it's got a lot more work that needs to be done on it. So this is really a sneak peek for these bubble pendants. And this one, I put in one of my little spirals. So cute. There we go. And I have another one over there that I don't have anything in the, the main big bubble. So I'll, I'll do some that are also uh, plain, as it were, just the bubble pendants themselves. So I am having a lot of fun in my studio right now. So if you want any of my pendants, most of them are $100. Um, some of the larger ones are $125. And these little paintings are going to be $100 as well for both the 4x6 and the 5x7 size. Uh, that does include free shipping in the continental U.S., of course. Uh, so all of my paintings and jewelry and all that kind of good stuff come with that. And I, before I get to go on over and painting for you, uh, I'd like to remind you that until December t uh, 10th, you get 20% off on my website, saholtstudios.com, when you use the coupon code at checkout, artful. 2023. A-R-T-F-U-L 2023. So take advantage of it. It's not going to be here for too much longer. Four more days. It's only four more days. So definitely go over and um, get yourself some good stuff for, for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or for the New Year's if you don't celebrate any of that. Put on my gloves because I'm getting ready to paint. So anything you need... Just let me know. And if you don't like to shop on my website, go ahead and let me know here. You can let me know uh, in Messenger, or you can email me at susan at saholtstudios.com. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. I see Sandra is here. Hello, hello, welcome. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start getting the painting process going. Uh, Patty Jo put in a suggestion, and then I had like three suggestions in my brain that I wanted to work on, so I put those in as well. Uh, so thank you, Patty Jo, for that. I appreciate your suggestion very much. It sounds like an interesting painting. However, uh, the one that got 85% of the vote is Aurora Borealis colors, so I'll be painting a black background with uh, greens, blues, and purples purple. Um, I might have to take my white over too. Hmm. Think on that for a minute. So we are going to go ahead and head over and do that. So I'm going to move the camera. So if you get a little seasick watching cameras move, <laughs> go ahead and close your eyes or look away and I will tell you when I am ready and set up on the other, uh, the other set up. Shake my white paint on the way over. Okay. Turn on my lights. For some reason I didn't do that. 
put you up on the stand. Make sure that's pointing up the canvas. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, you can open your eyes if you had to close them. Okay, I have all my paints over here ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. Move that out of the way a little bit. So while I am pouring on this background paint, I want to let you know that um, even though it's only December 6th <laughs> um, and we're not even past Christmas yet, I have openings for um, Valentine's Day commissions already available since I cannot get you painting between now if you want a commission I cannot get you a commission painting between now and Christmas because I just don't have enough dry time between now and then to work with you and to get you exactly what you want but I do have enough time to start taking Valentine's Day commissions so if you're looking for something for your honey or honeys, then let me know. I'll get something started for you. And if you have a piece, a piece of mine that you absolutely love, that's already in stock and you want it, I can get it out as um as early as Monday, and we can hope it gets to you in the, the rush of mail before whatever holiday you are observing this December. Okay. Just let me know. I had a friend of mine say, well, you know, I really want this painting from you, but you, you, you never said that I could have it. And I said, you never actually told me that you wanted it. Oh, <laughs> so once we actually talked about it, got the painting to her, you know, human communication is so weird, isn't it? Definitely fall short myself sometimes for that. All right. I'm going to put my paint through the strainer because I know this has a lot of chunks in it. And it's okay if it looks like splotchy and gross right now. That's fine. Don't panic. Don't worry. Actually, I kind of like the splotchy and gross look. It looks pretty cool. More of that, we will use more of that. So when I was a little girl, we lived in outskirts of Colorado, outskirts of Denver, well, kind of north of there. North of there, definitely north of there, <laughs> in a little town. And in the spring and fall, every now and again, we could see the aurora. If we went out with my dad, he would take us out in the car. We'd go drive around the countryside since we were away from the city and we would find a place that we could sit in the car in the dark and look at the Aurora Borealis. My dad, when he worked, he was a civil engineer, so he, he got all sciencey with us and told us what it was and how it came to be and really tried to instill that uh, 
um, scientific knowledge <laughs> into us kids, which worked. Um, but then, because he was a civil engineer, we got the opportunity to move to several different places. One of those places was Alaska. And we were pretty much directly under the Aurora Borealis when we lived up there. I always thought that was just one of the best things ever. Have any of you ever been anywhere that you could just walk outside and look up and see the aurora? It's pretty. It's fascinating. When you're that close to it, you realize it has a whole lot of different colors in it. this turns out similar to what I have in my head but who knows <laughs> we're gonna see if it happens or not Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm working on a 8x10 canvas panel tonight. Instead of a stretched canvas.
I think that looks pretty spiffy. It's a technical term, pretty spiffy. This little black bubble up here that came through that, uh, that's a surprise. That came through that large. But I don't hate it, so it can stay. <laughs> Definitely can stay. Well, it has all the right colors in it. It's kind of going the right direction. But I want it to go. I really like this natural dark break right here. So I can I can do a lot of things with this canvas. I can do a spiral on it, I can do a linear design on it, or I can do one of those um, little scenes like I do on some of my pendants where I have like the, the trees and a little cabin and maybe a mountain or something in the background and have the aurora above that. So yeah, lots of things I could do with it. Um, I know generally with the monthly paintings that I'll do a dot design on them, but let me know if you want to see something different. I do have the dot design card all made up and ready to show you for next week, but that doesn't mean we have to use it. So, yeah. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Put that on there. Add over that. Clean out my little colander before anything really sticks on there very hard. We'll wash that out in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off and move you back over to the other table. There we go. All right, I think that turned out pretty well. Oh, I see Dina and Ayala and Denise and Michelle have joined us. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Okay. All right, so let me look at, look at my notes, make sure I didn't really miss anything. Um, if you want to talk to me about a painting for Christmas that is not a commission that's already in stock, go ahead and let me know. If you want to talk about a commission for February for Valentine's Day, go ahead and let me know. Um, if you need to talk to me about, you know, you don't know quite what's going to fit your decor or your the size on your wall, just tell me you need a consultation call and we'll get on what, what that is basically. It's a Zoom call or a FaceTime call and you and I talk through what you need, what you want, all that kind of good stuff. And, of course, next week, Zen's Day Wednesday Live, right back here, we'll either be using the dot design card or we will be putting a very different painting on top of that background. <laughs> Either way, I am super excited to show you what happens and what comes up and what comes out of my creativity. And other than that, that's going to do it for this evening. I hope you had a wonderful time watching me paint live for you right here. Of course, I had a wonderful time painting for you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend. And I will see you next Wednesday. Don't forget to pop back in here and uh, see what I've got going on this week. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks so much. Bye.